I'd like to see if I can give a couple pointers on how to work with these Molex connectors that are used on a lot of uh, old King radios. It can be really frustrating trying to get them out of an old plug that you have and you really just need the right tool as the main thing and it's not that hard to make. Um, so what, what you need to do is get is push down this little prong right here. So on the back side you see this little this little tab sticking up right here. This is what keeps these locked in. So what you have to do is you have to take your tool and you slide it down on this side and you push this tab, you sort of like push it, deflect it so that it gets unbent and you hold it and then, and then you got to pull on the wire and that enables you to get it out of the connector. So I'm going to show you here. So if you're looking at the connector, you can see the side that is sort of like on the outer part of the connector. That's where we're going to slide our tool in. And you have, to, you have to slide it in and you sort of like push. You can kind of actually scrape as you're going in a little bit. And you're, what you're trying to do is push that tab away from this side of the connector. And you pull on the wire and then it comes out. Now if we look at the one that just came out, you can see that that little tang or that tab is actually sort of pushed down. So once you go to back, go to insert this back in, you want to bend that back out to make sure that it's going to lock <clears throat> inside the black connector. So this guy right here, we have to bend this back out up a little bit like this, maybe even a little farther to make sure that it locks in. Now the tool that I used, it started out as a really small um, jeweler's flat blade screwdriver and I just ground it down so that its width was about 0 0.05 here. So that's how wide this guy is. And it's also very thin, so it's probably thinner than that. In fact, if we measure it here, its thickness is about 0 0.025, something like that. So it's pretty thin and it's pretty narrow because it has to get right in these grooves. You can kind of see this channel on the connector right here. It has to slide right down in there. But once you make this tool, it's very easy to push that tang back and then slide these out. Now I also want to take a quick look at these connectors that I bought. These are aftermarket connectors and I got them from, I believe it was a, an arcade, like a pinball uh, maintenance website. Now it's very similar to these King connectors here, or Molex connectors, Molex is probably who made these originally. The only difference that I can see is that the width, the spacing between uh, where these are held is a little wider. It's very, very hard to see on camera, but if you basically at the center of this channel, to the center of this channel right here is a little bit wider. So my concern was that it wasn't going to clamp down hard enough on, on the circuit board here because you've got these uh, gold traces here on, and they're on both sides of, of each one. So you need these connectors, you need both of these um, sort of spring-loaded tabs in here. So I can get it focused. Both of these both of these have to squeeze hard enough on either side of the circuit board to make sure it's making good contact. So what I did is I installed two in here. Let me put this one back and then you can see. So now I have two in here and you can see that it's it looks pretty close. And what I did is to test this out is I actually slid it on and these are the only two connectors um, on this whole plug. And when I slide it on the back of the radio here, it actually gives me a fair amount of resistance so that I know that those connectors are actually sliding and making good contact with these pads here. And so if I compare that with this plug, which has a whole bunch of uh, connectors in it, you know, this one slides on definitely with some resistance, but you know, compared to this one that has only two, I would say that this is doing a decent job. So if you have a connector that's absolutely ruined, like an old one of these that's you know, broken and you want to replace this, uh, I'll give you the website where these are, or maybe I'll just put it in the bottom of the video. The, and so the only other thing that you're going to have to do with these is actually file it down a little bit. So the width, see if I compare these two. So the width of the original is 0.36. That's the thickness of the original Molex black connector. And this one is 0.43. So it's definitely thicker. So. If you have your tray that you're working on on your, your radio tray, 
this thickness right here. So now this new plug has to go in here and it's, it's pretty tight. It's a little tight. So you might be able to force it or you might either, you could file away this surface here or you can file down your plug. But I believe that th these are gonna work good enough uh, to clamp onto the circuit board on your, your radio or your audio panel or, or whatever it is you're, uh, you're working with. One more thing that's gonna make it easier to pull these out is if you can put your plug in a vise because uh, you really need two hands to do this. It really works better. And the technique is, um, of course, now I'm trying to do this holding the camera with one hand. <laughs> but anyway, um, the real another little trick is that you don't want to be pulling first and then stick your tool in to try and release that, that little tab. You want to actually push the connector in this way as you're like as if you're trying to insert it push that in then you put your tool in and as you're pushing in and holding in then you do that kind of scrape technique and hold it down and then as you're holding down then you pull out because if you're trying to pull out first what you're doing is you're locking you're basically sort of like locking that little tab in the back it's really getting hooked into the plastic inside so you, you want to push it in first then insert your tool to release that tab like inside here and then you pull it out. Again, I'm trying to do this with two hands, but anyway, you get the point. So I hope that helps you uh, removing and installing and working with these Molex pins.